Last night I dreamt I went to Mandalay again. It seemed to me I stood by the iron gate leading to the drive, and for a while I could not enter, for the way was barred to me. Then, like all dreamers, I was possessed of a sudden with supernatural powers, and I passed like a spirit through the barrier before me. The drive wound away before me, twisting and turning, as it has always done. And as I advanced, I realised a change had come upon it. Nature had come into her own again, and little by little, she had encroached upon the drive with long, tenacious fingers. And finally, there was Mandalay. Mandalay, secretive and silent. Time could not mar the perfect symmetry of those walls. Moonlight can play odd tricks upon the fancy, and suddenly it seemed that light came from the windows. And then a cloud came upon the moon and hovered an instant like a dark hand before a face. The illusion went with it. I looked upon a desolate shell, with no whisper of the past about its staring walls. We can never go back to Mandalay again, that much is certain. But sometimes in my dreams, I go back to the strange days of my life which began for me in the south of France.